Welcome back. The Fedora project has announced the availability of the new Fedora 37 version. In this review, we look at what's new in Fedora 37 and whether it's worth upgrading from Fedora 36 right now. After some delay, Fedora 37 was released on November 15. Fedora 37 was originally supposed to be released at the end of October. An open SSL vulnerability found shortly before publication was the reason why the decision was made to move it again. They wanted to make sure that the vulnerability was closed in the release and that it was thus cleaned off the bug. Fedora 37 is packed with new FOSS technology. You can expect the following features. Linux kernel 6, GNOME 43, new quick settings menu, settings to provide users with more detailed information on hardware and firmware updates, web app support, more polished to GDK4 ported GNOME apps. Also included in this release, LibreOffice 7.4, Firefox 106 or newer, Rhythmbox 3.4.6, Cheese Webcam App 43. The Fedora spins come with the following desktop versions. Fedora 37 KDE includes KDE Plasma 5.26. Fedora 37 LXQT includes LXQT 1.1.0. Fedora 37 XFCE includes XFCE 4.16. Fedora 37 Mate includes Mate 1.26. Fedora 37 Cinnamon includes Cinnamon 5.4. Fedora 37 offers a total of five official editions. So far, there have been only three editions, Fedora Workstation, Server and IoT. Fedora CoreOS and Fedora CloudBase are new. CoreOS is a lightweight operating system that offers containerized applications. Fedora CloudBase is a suitable for provisioning general purpose virtual machines in public and private clouds. By the way, with Fedora 37, Raspberry Pi 4 with V3D GPU accelerated graphics are also supported. Desktop. As usual with Fedora, the latest GNOME version available comes with it. So here the brand new GNOME 43 version is delivered. Fedora doesn't accept that much GNOME adjustments. The only exception is a collection of background images. The desk is empty. There is only one bar at the top of the screen. GNOME has evolved into button and gesture control. That means you can work with the touchpad on a laptop and you have bad luck on a PC and have to deal with it with keyboard commands. For my taste, the vanilla GNOME desktop is not suitable for desktop use. I still need some extensions here and see Ubuntu Desktop or Pop OS as a more user-friendly way. Fedora sees it differently and delivers GNOME almost unchanged. You just have to adapt it to your own wishes and needs. That's okay. Let's have a quick look at the desktop. If you click on Activities, you are landing here. On the bottom you have something like a dock. And if you click on the dots here, it will lead you to some kind of launchpad. Here you see all installed apps. I installed some like Edge just for demonstration purpose, so don't get confused. Usually Fedora delivers a minimum software stack. So that's all okay. By the way, if you need more software or different software, just click here on software. The GNOME Software Center is opening. Here you find additional software packages. Also, Flatpak is included here. With GNOME 43, the windows are more dynamic. What does that mean? Let me show you. If you minimize the window, you see it changes its interface. It's the same behavior with the settings. Looks pretty well. Let's have a look at the quick settings menu bar here. It looks pretty good. What do we have here? We have the screenshot app here as shortcut. We have quick access to the control center. You can lock your screen or you can lock off from the system or shut it down. You have also buttons here for network connection, nightlight, balance, and dark mode. 
let's click on dark mode and you see, oh, it's switching. Isn't that awesome? Looks pretty well. What about the upgrade? You can easily start an upgrade to Fedora 37 under Fedora 36 via GNOME Software Center. Open it and click on the Updates tab at the top. Now the message appears with the availability of Fedora 37. To start the upgrade, just click on Download and follow the instructions. I wouldn't upgrade to Fedora 37 just yet though. Experience has shown that a few errors still appear after release, which were not noticed during a test phase with a limited group of users. After release, the user group will be larger and errors will be found sooner. It can take days or weeks for these issues to be resolved. So I'd rather wait a bit longer than mess around with bugs. It's now mid-November 2022. I would probably wait until Christmas and then upgrade over the Christmas period when things are a little quieter. By then, all minor bugs have been found and resolved. So that would be my hope. And that would also be my tip for upgrading from Fedora 36 to version 37. Wait a few more weeks. Then Fedora 37 is even better optimized and then you probably won't have any trouble. If you like my video and you want to stay tuned to more videos from me, then please subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything, but helps me. Thanks. Now let's come to my conclusion. I really like the changes coming with GNOME 43. Overall, Fedora 37 looks pretty good to me. The open SSL vulnerability that caused the release delay is annoying, but it's not that bad. After all, Fedora 36 doesn't go bad just because version 37 is now here. If you're still using Fedora 35, you should probably upgrade to a newer version very soon when support for Fedora 35 will end in a few weeks. How do you like Fedora 37? When are you doing the upgrade? Please share your opinion in the comments. Many thanks for a kind attention. Until the next video. Bye.